When Jesus says, I am the Alpha and Omega, he is declaring that he himself is the complete knowledge base for all of life. So he wants to talk to folk who are in the faith, but who may not be running the race or running the race well. He says to those folks, I want you to change your focus so you can get back, no pun intended, on track. Your mess, your billows, the wind blowing you all over the place might be just the right space to see Jesus walking on the very thing that's got you terrified. Sometimes we go on under and we want to know where is God? God didn't move. Jesus hasn't moved. Where are your eyes? That's the question. What are you focused on? What are you looking at? Life is too uncertain. Things come to us from too many directions. We only know this much. But since Jesus is Alpha and Omega, He knows where we're going. You may be tore up. You may have failed. You may have sinned. You may have disregarded the truth of God. But the Bible says when Jesus died, He rose and He went to the third heaven and He's on the right hand side of God. But when He sees one of His saints who are fixated on Him, He'll leave the stands. He'll come down onto the track. He'll see where you're laid out. He'll pick you up and He'll drag you across the finish line for his glory keep your eyes on jesus because he's the alpha and the omega he's the beginning and the end he's the author and the finisher he'll get you across the finish line